Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to build a professional website. Now this method does not require any technical or coding skills and the best part, this solution only costs $2.49 per month at the moment. So first I'll show you how this works and then if you're interested, stick till the end where I'll show you how you can access that special offer. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so for this we're going to use Hostinger, so all you have to do is basically get a hosting package with them and then log into your account like I just did. And after this we go to websites. So if you're starting up, you probably won't have any websites like I have here, so basically scroll down the page and find this section where it says create or migrate a website, click on it. And then now select your hosting plan, so whichever you have active at the moment, so select plan. So from here select the type of website that you want to build, is it an online store, a blog, a business type of website, a portfolio or anything else. So in our case here, let's pretend that we are an investment company based in New York and we just launched a new mobile app. So I'm just going to select this option here and right here, select create a new website. Very good. So now from here, we need to select hosting a builder with AI. So you could use this one if you're familiar with WordPress, that's really up to you. But today we're going to go the easy way, which is this one here and everything is all included. So if you want to design a simple professional looking website, this is a very good option as well. So let's click select. And then from here, it's all related to your domain name. So normally with Hostinger, if you purchase at least a one year plan, you get a free domain, in which case you can link it directly from here. But for now, we're going to choose a domain later. And as you can see, you can always change this later. So don't worry about it. This is our temporary URL at the moment. So let's select and welcome to the AI builder. So as you can see, you can create a website in just a few minutes. So all you have to do is click start creating or you can use a pre-made template as well. So let me open this in a new tab just to show you what's available, okay? So if you wanted to use a pre-made template, as you can see, you have all these different categories, there's hundreds of different templates. They look very, very professional, all of them, you know? So let's go back here to the top and let's select something related to our industry. So we said we are an investment company and we're launching a new mobile app. So we're gonna look for something related to technology, I suppose, maybe this one, very good. And there you go, as you can see, this one might be uh, absolutely suitable for this. What else do we have? Well, that's fine. Okay, so we can have a quick preview. There you go. Look at this, how professional this looks. And you can actually create that website in just a few clicks of the mouse and it will be imported for you. All you have to do is basically simply customize the content to fit your own business model, obviously, you know. So this is one option that you have, but we're going to create our website using the AI for now. Okay, so let's start creating. So our brand name, so let's say maybe invest world and then limited or something like this. There you go. And then what are we uh, going to build? Uh, as we said, it's a business showcase, so we can keep it the way it is. And now we need a little bit of description here. So what exactly is it uh, that we want to build? So I'm just going to copy and paste some content here. So for instance, we're a technology investment company based in New York, create a professional website for our newly launched finance app that helps users manage all their bank accounts from one place earn cashback and access discount in online stores online and you can also use a microphone here to dictate that okay so basically that's all for now and now we can create the website and there you go as you can see getting ai services ready so it's writing our content looking for pictures finding the right colors font styles and it's designing the layout for us as well so all together is doing everything for us basically nearly there and there you have it guys you can see this is our website here and right there with an onboarding process so we can see set up progress two steps out of nine are completed and we know exactly what to do next next we need to edit the heading text update the images uh, paragraphs and text and so on so we can close this for now we can always go back by clicking on it anyways you know so this this is fine so let's have a quick look so let's see what they've created for us so manage earn and save so this is related to our prompt exactly perfect get started now a call to action immediately there a very nice image indeed because this is related to an app like we said you know scroll down what do we have uh, we are a technology investment company based in new york this is exactly who we are our services oh yeah bank account management cashback reward online store discount not bad at all and then a contact uh, section here and then the photo section okay well simple clean and professional let's see the other page here what do, what do we have in portfolio okay okay it's a bit about us as well here well to be honest uh, it's not too bad and the contact page contact form and everything here and uh, google maps as well okay so I'd say for a starter, that's not too bad at all. It's a, it's a clean uh, layout and professional looking as well. So next we have to edit the header. So all you have to do is basically click on it. And as you can see, edit header, 
and let's add our logo first okay so we go to logo and as you can see at the moment they made up their own invest world limited based on our name but obviously we want to upload our own uh, logo so all we have to do is click on it and let's upload a new file and let's select our files on design one very quickly here okay so open now let's select this one so we can close this now if you select it Okay, so the logo has been uploaded. It's right here. So obviously it's a little bit too small. So if you click on the header again, edit header, and then we go to logo. As you can see, you can change the width. So let's increase this a little bit because I think it's maybe a bit too small, isn't it? Maybe like that. Okay, perfect. And then the styling features as well. As you can see for your header, you can change the, uh, the color of the background as well. If you want to make it transparent and so on okay so these are very easy options to to change and then we can change our main section here again if you click on it all you have to do is edit section and you can change the background color the layout and also the anchor so if you want to add an anchor basically this is basically linked to your menu section so if you wanted people to click on any of those links here or within your page and bring them back to this section you can use an anchor name as well you know and this is our layout so how does this work? As you can see in the background, you have the different columns. So one, two, three, up to how many is it? 16, is it in total? And then how many rows in total? So it's 16 by 24. And the beauty of this system is that you can relocate anything on this page anywhere you want. So if you drag it, grab this, and then let's say I want it here instead, just drop it there. And that's basically it. As you can see now, it's uh, at a to uh, in a totally different spot. So it's probably better where it was anyways, you know, but it's just to show you how easy you can move things around now if you wanted your title to be further up with the text here maybe and a bit more spacing in between to put more emphasis on the call to action button you can easily do so as well if you scroll down as you can see you can uh, you have the the section height so you can make it bigger as well if you wanted to bring the, the picture further down and then you can add even more spacing you know just like this and maybe this one and this one and there you go maybe that's the way you like it with more uh, breathing space all around it so again very easy to use as you can see you know very intuitive as well now to change the content of your uh, text here and all, all of that the heading all you have to do is click on it and edit this as a, as a regular uh, text uh, field basically okay and right here is the same so all you have to do basically type whatever you want type whatever you want and there you go this is how you can change the content very easily so as you can see automatically it would let you know how many steps are completed so how can you change the background color here well again very easily click on edit section background color and you can select the color as you can see at the moment we have this blue but maybe you want the blue that's related to your logo or maybe the green one like the, the dollar bill here click on this and then you can use the color picker and pick it from here or you can enter the hex code immediately from here if you have it handy you know just like this so oh, let's try with green so that's maybe a bit too odd there you know but why well, sure why not uh, maybe that's the color that you like but you can keep it that way as well in which case we might want to change the font color here maybe to something darker and then we can reuse the blue uh, that's part of our logo so click on this edit text so for this click on that and then we can add the hex code again right here so let's select our blue this time okay and i think well, that that actually looks really good and here we could maybe change the color of this one as well edit text change the color and again choose our hex code and that's basically it okay so this is not too bad actually so now if we scroll down we have our picture here how so how can you replace this well very easily click on it edit image and then we're going to change this to our own image so click on it upload image and i found one here online that's a different uh, shape this is portrait so let's open this okay select very good. So as you can see, the, the image is actually fitting our frame here. So you can make it bigger or smaller, you know, uh, that's really up to you. You can expand the size of your picture. So I'm just going to move the button further up. Uh, maybe my title main heading and the subheading here as well. And I think this is fine. And you can actually also uh, reorganize the picture from within the frame. So if you click on it, now you can see the whole outer layer. So basically now you can grab it and move it. So if you want it to show those Bitcoins, or you can do so. Or if you want it to hide them, or you can bring this up a little bit. And as you can see, this is what you'll see actually, okay? And then basically click outside and there you go. This is how you can reposition your picture from within its frame. So let's make this a little bit bigger, maybe just like that. 
and I think now we have it just about perfect. So there are other features as well. If you go to edit image here, as you can see, you have the style. So as you can see at the moment, we have square edges, but you can easily round them up a little bit if you wanted to. So you just use this. And as you can see, I've rounded edges. So as you can see, this is 30 pixels. If you like it, just keep it like this. We have actions as well. So on click, what do you do? You can open a preview of full screen or open to a link. So this could go to a page altogether, you know, but we're just going to leave it as is for now. And then you have shape as well. So look what this does. Okay, if I click on this, you have a different shape altogether. So this is actually not bad at all, isn't it? So let's discover another one. Uh, let's see maybe what you have uh, this one here. So you can be very creative as you can see you know it's very easy done as well so let's just keep it square for now uh, keep it simple you know nothing and you also have animation so basically when you will load up what animation do you want so this one will slide and this one will scale and this one will fade or no animations at all okay so that's really up to you so let's keep it on slide for now so now what if you think that the image is too big maybe you want to center it differently well you can always grab the corners here make it smaller okay and bring it up a little bit like this and there you go so this is maybe a preferred choice for you you know you want it to be uh, less uh, prominent and maybe a bit uh, smaller like this in which case this is fine and then we have to reduce the size of our section a little bit and there you go guys i think this is a very powerful hero section very good so another nice feature is the auto save as you can see it's on at the moment you can disable that if you wanted to but the nice thing is then you don't have to think about it it will save automatically every time you make changes to your page so let's move on to the next section here as you can see this is overlapping a little bit so this can happen so uh, easy, easy fix you know just expand this and then bring this down a little bit and there you go that's us done and again as always you can simply click on this and change the content of your text so also you can customize everything obviously you know as you can see you have the styling so this is heading for maybe you want it bigger maybe extra big or super big you know uh, again it's really up to you to feel uh, what, what you what you like you can select your font as well so if all the different fonts here so quite a few you know all the most popular ones but uh, feel free to play around with that uh, your font size bold italic underline and so on and so on okay so right here as you can see this is a call to action button so if you click on this this is a button and this is linking to something obviously so what is it linking to a web address a file download or a section on your page and then you can go directly to your pages as you can see with three different pages with home contact and portfolio maybe you want to go straight to your portfolio from here in which case click on this okay and that's basically it now if anyone will go click on this it will go straight to your page so let me save for now let's have a quick preview scroll down so this is our button learn more click on this and it's redirecting us to the portfolio page as you can see very easy back to the home page and let's go back to the editor so we haven't linked this one yet to get started we'll do something with this later so let's scroll down a little bit more now and let me show you another few features so again let's change the color here of our background click on this edit section and we're going to select the color so obviously we've selected our color already so you can just click on this as you can see all the colors that you've used previously are already recorded here so it's very easy for us to select the ones that uh, we need obviously you know they'll be saved automatically here for you so this is our main color which is fine so let's scroll down and now we have the contact us section here so there's a contact form this is the most important part obviously click on it edit form so this is the title here contact form okay so you can put up whatever name you want just make sure here that this is the right email address this is where all your not notifications will be sent basically so this is the email address you want to uh, receive all these uh, submissions to and then we have our fields so look at this very easy of the name your email and message where you can always add more fields as you can see you have short answer paragraph single choice and multiple choice so it's a very easy one to use you know uh, but i think it's fine at the moment the way it is then we have the button here so again with the button you can change the message submit to something else and this is the confirmation message so once uh, they click submit what will they see and that's a thank you here but you could uh, add maybe a thank you for your inquiry we'll get in touch with you very soon and obviously as always you can stylize everything so let's say if you wanted to change the button here to something more uh, bright maybe let's use our green color here instead we have to select here instead of form field the submit button okay and you have the fill color here so this is the background color and let's select our green so there you go and let's change the font maybe to uh, dark blue okay so this is the one here and there you go and you can have an effect on on hover as well as you can see when you move 
you can change the color as well in hover section here so it's up to you uh, feel free to change that to whatever color you, you see fit obviously you know so that's basically how this works and then right here the image maybe you can change the image as well so edit and then change the image with another one so let's upload a new file so i found one online here no this one okay so open and as always select very good so now as you can see this gives us a totally different feel doesn't it so we can make it maybe a little bit bigger maybe just here and i think this looks absolutely fine doesn't it very very professional looking and then we can make the form a little bit smaller uh, maybe this way here this should be just about perfect now so let's move on to the last section here this is our footer section now this website builder is well thought out because if you make any changes to your footer section it will reflect to all the pages automatically so let me show you as an example instead of contacts i'm going to put triple x here okay just like this so let's have a quick preview so we are on the home page and as you can see, contacts triple X. If I go to portfolio, scroll down, and then triple X and contact uh, is the same with triple X. So basically, you only have to change the footer once and it will apply to all the pages on your website. So, right here, as you can see, I've subscribed to our newsletter. So, this is a form basically, but I didn't find any ways to link this actually dynamically to any a third party plugins or anything like this like uh, mailchimp or anything so maybe what we can do is basically get rid of this okay uh, remove this one as well so we could use this to put our logo here instead okay so delete so let's add a few elements here and for this we're going to go to the plus sign here add element and we're going to select an image okay so drag and drop very good and now we can reposition this where we want it and obviously we can change this with our own logo obviously so edit image and then change image let's select our logo here very good so as you can see it's not actually fitting in it so what you have to do is basically expand as much as you can until you see the whole logo and then grab the end here and then you can resize it and then reposition it where you want it so that's basically how this one works it's a bit interesting you know it's actually very very easy to use as well uh, coming from a wordpress background i'm actually amazed by this thing it's actually great now we can add those two here somewhere else so maybe instead of contact uh, we can change this you know now we can remove the double x so remove this very good and then here you're going to type your email address and maybe uh, everything that's related to your contact details and now here you have the social icons as well so here click on this and as you can see edit social icons and as you can see they already have the new x for twitter so very nice so i have tiktok twitter instagram facebook and maybe you want to add something else maybe youtube or something like this add a new link and you put the actual link and it will automatically create this as a youtube account so let's add this and you go, as you can see that's been added now and we have the, the logo attached to it automatically so it's a very handy feature isn't it so now as you can see if you add too many icons they'll be all cramped up so you can always expand that obviously you know and you can also define how you want to display them so you have the style here and layout so as you can see the icon spacing if you do that it'll be evenly distributed from inside the content as you can see they all uh, spaced equally so that's basically it and that's us done with this so the footer section is maybe a bit too big hold on one second now let's finish this properly now obviously you can make sure that it displays properly on mobile phones as well you have a preview here so let's scroll back up to the top of our page as you can see this is our main a heading so you can customize everything based on every devices okay so if you wanted this section to be bigger on mobile phones you can expand bring the uh, picture further down and go and add a bit of spacing in between those uh, if you wanted to as well you know just like this and you can even change the text here make it smaller so let's say maybe on mobile phones only 14 pixels and add a bit of breathing space so if you save now and let's go back to the desktop version as you can see this has not been affected but if you go back to the mobile version it will display in a different manner so you're always certain that the visitors have the best user experience uh, based on which device they're using basically okay so now we have the call to action button here get started maybe you want to link this to a page with an onboarding form or something like this asking them for the details before you can register them online so how can we do so well we go here by the side as you can see have pages in navigation so you can add as many pages as you want as you can see with home portfolio and contact so let's create one together okay so add a new page and right here you can select among a few ready-made templates of so the about section you have contact services project 
privacy policy. So these are ready-made templates that you can use and save us a bit of time, you know. Or you can create basically a brand new page uh, from scratch. So let's create one together, okay? Let's click on this. Uh, let's call this maybe onboarding form, okay? Just like this. And then save. Very good. So this is our page created. And now we can add our elements. So as you can see on top of the header and the footer section. So there's nothing in between. So how do we do so? Well, we go back to the plus sign here and add any element on your page. So let's add a text here. So this is going to be our heading. And then we want a form as well. Okay, just underneath. So we're going to find the form section here. Contact form. Let's add it here. Very good. So now we can type whatever we want. Okay, so we're going to center this in the middle. Put this one right there. So our text will be, let's say, register now. So I'm going to center this text alignment center. Perfect. And then we can add a little bit of text underneath, maybe as an explanation as well, you know. So let's go back to plus. So text here underneath. So let's type our text here. So maybe thank you for your interest in our services. To register with us, simply fill out the form below. Your account will be active within oops within 48 hours so we're going to change the size obviously that's way too big so maybe uh, 16 we don't need bold actually uh, so we're just going to go for text normal text paragraph one and that's it and we can maybe center this as well there you go that's absolutely fine and then we'll have our form underneath okay and here as always simply click on it edit form and you can change your fields accordingly so I have name last name email address and a message but again you can add as many as you need obviously you know so that's basically it for this so let's say we've created our page now we can save our page very good so let's go back to our home page and now we can link this button here the call to action okay so get started edit button and this is going to be linked to an internal page and which page is this the onboarding form and that's basically it save pages review let's click on this and there you go guys that's how you can create a beautiful website for only two dollars 49 per month and then if you want to go live go back to the editor here click on this button go live and you'll be able to go live immediately so let's click on this and there you go, as you can see our site is now live congratulations and this is using the temporary url now we can connect this to our actual domain you know so if you have an existing domain registered already click on this and it's very easy to set up all you have to do is to click on this button here and you link that to your actual domain now here's the thing guys don't forget it's only two dollars 49 per month at the moment so big difference compared to wix wix starts at 29 per month and Squarespace at $16 per month. So big, big difference in pricing, obviously. So now let me show you how you can access this special offer. You have to use the link in the description below, mrweb.tv forward slash hosting. And this will bring you to this co-branded page that we have with hosting us. So we've negotiated special terms for our audience. As you can see, we'll get up to 81% off all your hosting plans and also two months free. So all you have to do is click on this button here, claim deal. And you can select any of those plans here. As you can see, this one normally is $12.99. Save 81%. It's only $2.49 per month. And the same here. It's normally $14 down to $3.49. And the same for the cloud starter. So what you can do is basically start with the premium plan here, which is the cheapest, and then move to the next one up if you need more resources. So as you can see, $2.49 per month. You can't really go wrong. And you get two months free as well. And as you can see, your domain name is free as well. It's normally $9.99. So you always have another tenor here, you know, all together. So again, it's up to you. Feel free to select any of those plans. And then you can build a beautiful website like I just showed you.